Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're here with Bill's Kubota, which is a F3680. And while he was de-leafing yesterday, it overheated. So we're gonna work on it and see if we can get him back in business. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you like it. We love your comments and we hope you'll subscribe. Have a good one, y'all. Be safe. Okay, so we're here with this Kubota F3680 and it overheated on Bill the other day. So we're gonna see what's going on. I looked up a few uh, troubleshooting things on the internet and it said, check your fan belt for your water pump, check your fan and check your radiator. And most people can uh, consider it that the most likely reason these things overheat is radiator gets fogged up. So let's check it out. Okay, and so it's full of antifreeze, mixed 50-50, I'm sure. And here is the screen. And just looking at that screen, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be the radiator. Now, the thing that people talk about is a lot of people will clean this screen and they still overheat because the radiator itself uh, is dirty. And bring that over here. I guarantee you this radiator is dirty. Oh, wow. I think we have found our clogged up problem. So we're gonna need a garden hose and I'll probably start with an air compressor, but we're gonna drive this over where we can work on it without getting water everywhere in the garage. Perfect. Damn. Yeah, that's totally cool. I thought it was too. I started carrying these little flashlights in my pocket. But you see the problem? That's your problem. Oh, yes. <laughs> but I believe that the reason, okay. Now, I know this is the problem, and I know we're going to fix it. But I believe that uh, when I turned it off, when I turned it back on, it, did, it was gurgling because uh -huh. that was empty. Okay, because okay, it boiled I never out. Put, I never put <laughs> anything in here. Right. But that was gurgling. And it was going down in the thing. So I I thought, well, I'll start it back up. And when I started it back up, it, you know how your temperature goes way up? Mm -hmm. Well, that buzzer come on and, uh, well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the problem, the problem became yeah. obvious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the problem became obvious, but mm. I, I believe that I could get back in it. And, we're going to clean that. Yeah. Yeah. But I could get back in it, then it would probably run. Yeah. Run. Well, that's the hope. <laughs> Yeah, just looking at how, you know, he de-leafs with this machine and looking at how much crud and dust and dirt is around the radiator and the engine compartment. Uh, since I read on the internet that the most common reason he's overheat is the radiator gets clogged up. It's uh, no wonder. Okay, so here's the screen and we'll clean that out. But the uh, people do say that even with this cleaned out, if you don't clean out the radiator, which is also horrible, <laughs> it will still overheat. So we'll start cleaning these up. And I'm going to try and do it with just air, but if it doesn't seem like it cleans out good with air, which is so dry it should, uh, I'll take it over and use a high pressure hose.
Okay, I think I'll take this over and use water on it, but like I said, that's mm. a lot better already. Mm -hmm. And see if you can see the back side of this, because I'm going to blow it. Actually, it came in that way. So let me... All right, I'll film from here. This way. There you go. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> well, it don't take much. Yeah, it, well, you're running it in it, dust. I blow it off. Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah, I've blown it off several times. At least twice since you've blown it off. I always get this clean up. Yeah, and I'll do that too with the air. So we spent about a half hour cleaning that radiator and I tried to only, since it pulls the dirt through the radiator, I tried to blow it back out from the fan side over and uh, I got most of that because the shroud, there was a lot of it I couldn't hit with this shroud. I could basically get between the fan blades all the way around. Uh, so I did go ahead and move to the front and use the air compressor from this side. And what I did pay attention to is like cleaning the AC coils and stuff with your hose, you can bend these little fins and, or even a pressure washer, you can bend those little fins. What I like about air, which is the first time I've cleaned a radiator like this with air, but even with this nozzle, you know, an inch from those fins, it doesn't bend them. So that's nice. You won't risk tearing up, you know, obviously if you bend all those fins over, it's the same as having a clogged radiator. So you didn't gain you anything. Now what we're gonna do is all these vents here is how this thing breathes, and you can see the amount of dirt on them. So I'll clean those off with the air compressor too, and don't stand where you're gonna get. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yep. So you can just see how much, like I said, de-leafing in the fall, mm -hmm. you're sucking up an awful lot of dirt. So here's our screen that Patty cleaned, and that looks brand new, so that was nice. Again, everybody talked about on the forums that if you clean this really well, but don't ever clean your radiator, you, you, you know, this will take care of the bulk stuff, but all that fine dust will still fog your radiator up. So, and this did overheat on him yesterday. So hopefully we're going to clean these vents here up, check the oil in it, make sure it's got grease and close it up and run it and see if it overheats again. We're going to use this brush and see if we can brush this off. Okay, from the outside, it's not doing a whole lot. Whoa. But from the inside. Oh, goodness. I think we're getting it cleaned out. <laughs> All right, so let's look and make sure we're full of oil. And it is. Okay. Closing it up. Yeah. Sir. 
right back here and blow all that out. It should work. All right. Okay, so yesterday when we were servicing this mower and unclogging the radiator, we didn't manage to get cleaning the air filter on camera. We did clean it. Here is the interior filter, and it's honestly not bad. It probably is due for replacement. And here is the outer filter, and it did have quite a bit of dust in it. We shook it off, tapped it on the ground, knocked a bunch of that dirt out of there, dust out of there. It wasn't anywhere near as bad as the radiator, but it definitely needed service. And we're gonna replace this, but we don't have one of these right now, so until we get a new uh, set of filters, we just blew that out with the air compressor. Okay, so now that the cap is back on, I couldn't do it and hold the camera. There is this bracket and this filter sits right back down in there. Kind of a neat system, but there we go. 